There's a lot of great towns in Pennsylvania that people living there feel like their best days were a generation ago or more. No one deserves to be abandoned. These communities deserve to, to be helped. You are the mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania, that's, correct? That's correct. Okay. Real estate prices have dropped 50%. Correct. The population has fallen from 20,000 to 3,000. You're encouraging people to move there, okay? All right, so I'm sold. But for people, people who don't get it, sell us on Braddock. I, I came to Braddock, you know, 20 years ago because I wanted to work and fight against the inequality that I saw raging in this country. Braddock was a marginalized, wholly abandoned community. But that's exactly where I wanted to, to spend my career. Fetterman wears Braddock on his sleeves, the zip code tattooed on one arm, the dates of murders on the other. The things that I learned, you know, in Braddock is that every place matters. No place deserves to be written off. These places across Pennsylvania feel left behind. They don't feel part of the conversation. That's why Donald Trump went to these small counties and held these big rallies. We cannot afford to take any vote for granted. We cannot afford to take any place for granted. Whether we're in a place like Braddock or a place like Emporium in Cameron County, the smallest county in Pennsylvania. Talk is cheap, but for the last 20 years, I've been working to represent, rebuild, and to advance in these places. As the community marks an important five-year milestone, people are really starting to have hope. Tomorrow will represent the, the fifth anniversary without a, a homicide in town. U.S. Steel plans to invest $1 billion in its Mon Valley Works and make them the most environmentally friendly in America. History was made in the Democratic primary for lieutenant governor. John Fetterman won the five-way race among Democrats. He's a different kind of character, I'll tell you. Yeah, well, of that Western Pennsylvania registered Democrat but voted for Trump. Fetterman can get a lot of those voters. We don't have to agree on everything. But I will always tell you what I believe is the truth. I'm going to fight not for one part of Pennsylvania, not for one party of Pennsylvania, but for one Pennsylvania. Just the way I did as mayor, just the way I'm doing as lieutenant governor, and just the way I would as your next U.S. Senator.